Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here about to look at some of the most insane animal clips you guys have sent to me in the last month. Some of these look absolutely insane. I really hope this video doesn't get taken down for like having some crazy shit I shouldn't be showing. I mean like fingers crossed, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and let's do it. But first, let's talk about World of Tanks for a second because they sponsored this video and they're freaking amazing. It's a completely free to play like World War Simulator tank game that I played a few games of last night and it's actually insanely realistic, especially for something that's free. I forgot to write back to my family and tell them I love them and I'm going off into the cruel battle. Oh god, I gotta make it out of here alive. I'm so painfully pinned down right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh god, I'm getting shot from all angles. This little fart has pulled a sneak attack and he is wrecking me right- Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I died by the littlest tank on the planet and my dog saw the whole thing happen. To download this free game and get a bunch of awesome free stuff through this sponsor, click the link down below in the description. You'll unlock a free Excelsior Tier 5 tank, 250,000 credits, and a 7-day premium pass. Big thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this game. I usually hate to win sponsors if it's something cheesy that I'm not into, but World Wars are freaking epic. Like, they're sad and everything, obviously, but for humanity to just battle it out like that is crazy. And a free simulator that gets to let you play in it sounds awesome. Just click the link down below to get into that, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> Dude, these elephants are going crazy, but it's also like fast forwarded, so they look like demons. <laughs> Why is it fast forwarded? I feel like in that comment section, at least a thousand people are followed for the fast forward as well. The amount of commenters that don't understand technology because the whole world's just getting phones recently is pretty insane. But these elephants. I guess no one's gonna get seriously hurt, right? I've never seen an end of elephant like, yeah, like mangled from another one. That doesn't necessarily happen, does it? Oh, good lord! So this is what you do if a tiger's charging at you. You just bang your sticks and make as much noise as possible, which I suppose makes sense. I'll try a different tactic. Crap my pants and roll up into a ball. Try and look as least appetizing as possible. I feel like this strategy only works if there's a bunch of you lined up so you look like a strong force. One dude with a stick is getting massacred. Like, what a way to go out too. Like, you've seen house cats attack a toy? Imagine that thing like a thousand pounds bigger and just like, not even like thousands of pounds bigger. Pictures that will give you thalassophobia. I already the got it. Of the ocean. So, I mean, not really. That one's creepy. People forget that the, like, the fear is like the fear of the unknown. So if you can see stuff in the water, it's not necessarily that scary. The, the phobia is, that's horrifying right there. Absolutely terrifying. That's freaky too. But it's more a fear of what you can't see than what you can see. If you can see it, then you're just afraid of that specific thing. That's not thalassophobia, that, that's an orcophobia. Oh my God. Look at these guys trying to wrestle that anaconda. To think all my ex-girlfriends have had to do the same thing, right? <laughs> still, still though, there's a dog in there! Let yourself get eaten fire, but don't let your dog at risk for such things. Poor dog just trying to help freaking wrestle the sea monster. Or like, freshwater monster, but like, what are they necessarily gonna... That's, I don't mind all these people being almost eaten and dragged down to their deaths, but the dog, the dog is too fine. Draw the line, the dog. Look, look at that little fella right in the center. He's trying to bite on and do everything he can. What are these guys doing down there fighting an anaconda in the first place? <laughs> Who started this fight? What do you mean something's chasing? Oh my God, what is producing that wave behind them? What is chasing after them right now? Is there a legit kaiju, <laughs> kaiju chasing after this boat? Oh my God, what is this? You can't just show. What is happening, dude? There's a legit kaiju arising from the ocean behind them, chasing in pursuit of their boat. This might be the most incredible footage I think I've ever seen. I seriously dare someone to explain this to me scientifically. Like, what, it, it may be some kind of avalanche, but it looks like it's building towards them and it's making waves and stuff, but there's no, it's, I'm, I honestly, as a logical adult human who give, who like thinks things out to a reasonable extent, I can't think of anything besides monsters. Wait. Did you see that? The hell? The hell is this video? What is that? It's like someone put a spell on a chicken? Okay, nothing. <laughs> now I'm extra confused. Wait. Did you see that? Because it loses them. It jumps in the trash can right there. 
This could easily just be some sort of video editing stuff, but eventually something is gonna not be video editing, or we're gonna be seeing some crazy, unexplainable third world country shit. What if that thing just exists? That? I guess that'd be some sort of like baby skinwalker or something, and the other one's an already transformed one, perhaps? There's no way Sam and Dean aren't hunting that thing! <gasps> oh my god! I know it's a horrifying thing and it's fun to mess with, but I still feel bad that it's out of water right now. But it definitely has Satan's butthole eyes, which are very concerning. The fact that it's chewing through sticks, but now the wood's just building up in its mouth and the poor guy doesn't have water. Even the scariest animals still deserve respect, man. I can't, I can't abide by this. How much strength does it take? Is this elephant straight up about to push this tree down? That's such an insane concept if you think about it. I guess some of these are just animals attacking trees, but still. Dude, it's doing it. The tree is falling. Oh my god. Wow! And people use goats to clear land. Like, think about how much more efficient elephants would be. Goats just eat shit. This thing rips down trees. It's like not even just the fact that it's able to do such a thing, but more that it knows it would take the tree down. So this is like common knowledge amongst that elephant and its family, I'm assuming, too. It's crazy how many trees must have been brought down in such a way. How many monkeys pushed to their death? <gasps> okay, those are skinwalkers, right? What a ridiculous way to fight. Oh, this camber person is just the worst. <laughs> I think the silliest part is the ridiculous ass little feet. How does it get so narrow at the bottom yet they stay upright so well? How does evolution evolve this way? Evolution, you're a drug sometimes, I swear to god. Like, I'm sure relatives are, are these just females? Is this how the females fight? Like, the males would buck antlers, but the chicks just straight up bust out into a slap. <laughs> A duck mom hatched a crocodile egg and he thinks he, she is the mother is <laughs> No, dude, this is real life. What am I actually looking at right now? It looks like one of those horrible videos that they set up on other parts of the world for millions of views where they put animals in horrible risks like where they put puppies next to boas and stuff, but this is <laughs> He's legit curled up with the other ducklings around the mother is this actually a possibility in nature? Can crocodiles actually be raised thinking they're ducks? I thought DNA and natural instinct played a part, but you're telling me that this could actually happen if I just swapped a duck, like, added a crocodile egg to a bunch of baby eggs? This, nothing makes sense anymore between this and the kaiju. Excuse me, sir. Oh my Excuse lord. Me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Dude, I, I love tropical areas the and they're wild lizards. It's so amazing. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse I need to compare. To last time I was, I think the last Savior comparison Jesus I have is Costa Rica, and there is just like the giant iguanas all over the place. Excuse but me, I want to go to Florida because I know Florida's got a buttload too. Oh my God, a rat catching fish! It says a mouse started the work of a cat, but I, I think that's a rat. That's pretty obviously a rat. But rat catching fish is a pretty crazy concept. For a second I thought he caught a catfish and the universe was just as backwards as it could possibly be. <laughs> it's just a regular fish. That's still crazy though if you think about it. Dude, I've seen this video before and I guess there's no chance of him catching, but the fact that the hippo is staying that close, like it's actually insanely persistent. That's an engine powered vehicle, the hippo is still on their cheeks constantly. You got to imagine what would have happened if they would have caught up as well. Like the instructor's turning around a lot. He clearly is slightly concerned because he knows if that thing catches up. If it got on board, they would all be ripped apart by a pack of freaking hippos. That would be crazy later to be digested by nearby predators that find the corpse. We're pretty gnarly way to go. Holy shit, dude. Did all what hundreds of birds fell out of the sky in Mexico? What? What is happening to the world? Th this is the most horrifying, like, if you, okay, it looks like a lot of them fly away, thank God, so they're not dead. Why did they all just instantly drop to the, oh, thank God they're not dead. That would be like, imagine being in that house and you just hear that noise and you walk outside and like 500 birds had fallen on your head, like house. Like, how do you, how do you ever trust <laughs> ever again? How do you, how do you trust the universe? 
Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of speculation regarding like some nonsense about 5G towers or like alien spaceships. I mean, it makes sense in the movie Science. Birds were flying and then falling from the sky because they were falling, they were flying into invisible spaceships. But these ones seem fine. So you just a bunch of drunk ass birds headed on from a bird bar together. What the hell is happening to society? I swear to God, the simulation we're living in, this matrix, gets so buggy sometimes. Dude. I mean, all alien stuff aside, you'd be doing so much damage to that treadmill by leaving that thing on there. Like, that goop and stuff is just spray. What the fuck? This video just took such a turn. I hate this clip of the giraffe going. There we go. That were, that was, <laughs> I, hate, I, hate, I hate that giraffe clip. I thought it was just started out weird, but it just seems to be getting progressively weirder. That was a nightmare. Oh, good. There's another. Man, that stuff probably exists. It's probably crawling along someone's genitals right now. Someone's got some splaining to do. That's just an affectionate animal. People just make it weird. People are weird, man. Okay, that is weird. <laughs> Whatever that is. That last thing was weird. Right, I'll give you that one. Well, that was a freaking awesome compilation of animals. I've never seen them do such amazing things. Well, I have plenty of times, but not in a while. It was a fresh take on animals. Leave a like and subscribe for more random crap, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!